हेलो वीवर्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई एम प्रदीप ऑफ मैथ्स टीचर सो इन दिस वीडियो विल सॉलो द चैप्टर नंबर सेवन कोऑर्डिनेटेड ज्योमेट्री एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट वन द लास्ट प्रॉब्लम दट इज द टेंथ वन राइट ना द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द रिलेशनशिप सॉरी फाइंड द रिलेशन बिटवीन एक्स एंड वाई सच दैट द पॉइंट एक्स कम ऑफ वाई इज इक्वी डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द पॉइंट थ्री कमा सिक्स एंड माइनस थ्री कमा फोर राइट लेकिन आई रीड द क्वेश्चन फाइंड द रिलेशन बिटवीन एक्स एंड वाई सच दट द पॉइंट एक्स कम ऑफ वाई इज इक्वी डिस्टेंस चिल्ड्रन यू हैव लर्न द लास्ट सेवेंथ प्रॉब्लम एंड द लास्ट नाइन्थ प्रॉब्लम यू हैव सॉल्व बाई यूजिंग दिस वर्ड ओनली इक्वी डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द पॉइंट थ्री कमा सिक्स एंड माइनस थ्री कमा फोर सो दट नथिंग बट दिस एक्स वाई दिस एक्स वाई पॉइंट इज इक्वी डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम थ्री कमा सिक्स एंड माइनस थ्री कमा फोर चिल्ड्रन राइट नाउ जस्ट रिकॉल द सेवेंथ प्रॉब्लम एंड नाइन्थ प्रॉब्लम द सेम हाउ यू हैव सोल्व द सेवेंथ एंड नाइन्थ प्रॉब्लम द सेम मेथड यू नीड टू यूज हियर ऑल्सो राइट चिल्ड्रन सो दे फोर लेट मी राइट फॉर दट सो लेट लेट द पॉइंट let the point p of x comma y be equidistant equidistant from the points from the points a of 3 comma 6 and b of Minus three comma four. Nothing but children. So you need to find the relation between x and y. So in the seventh problem and the ninth problem, you are finding the value of uh, one of the value. So in the seventh problem, you are able to find the uh, x value, and in the ninth problem, you are able to find the value of x value there, right? But the condition what you are using is same by using this word equidistance. The same you need to find, but here you need to here x and y the both. Or they have given so therefore this x and y is equidistant from this a of three comma six and b of minus three comma four so therefore you need to find the relation between x and y so that means but you need to find the one of the equation right so therefore I have wrote like this the point p of x y is equidistant from the point a of three comma six and b of minus three comma four children so now that is we can write like this. P A is equals to P B because this P of x y is equidistant from A of three comma six and B of minus three comma four children. So here you are having the values of the coordinates of P and A and here also P and B, right? Now just apply the distance formula for the left hand side and for the right hand side also and apply the values and simplify it as you have solved the seventh and ninth problem. Right, children. Now I'll write the values of uh, or coordinates of P and A. So P of so P of x comma y, right? And uh, A of so A of three comma six for the left hand side. So for the right hand side, children, P of again x comma y here B of minus three comma four. As usual, write down the values here, children. So, what is the value of x one here? X one is nothing but x. Next, y one is how much? Y one is nothing but y. Here, so x one is sorry, x two is three and y two is six. X two is three, y two is six. Here, x one is x, y one is y, and here x two is minus three and y two is So now apply the distance formula for the left hand side also for the uh, right hand side also. So now I'll write the condition again. P A is equals to P B, right? Now you know the distance formula, right, children? So therefore, square root of x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square. That's equals to square root of So I have applied the distance formula for P A. Now I'm applying the distance formula for P B. So therefore, square root of x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square. Now you know the values, right? Just apply the values here. 
So therefore, square root of now what is x two? X two is nothing but three minus now what is x one? X one is x whole square plus what is y two? Y two is nothing but six minus y one. Y one is how much? Y whole square that's equals to square root of here x two is how much x two is minus three minus of x one is how much x one is nothing but x whole square plus y two y two is how much four minus y one is how much y whole square so y two is four y one is y right children now simplify this now here on the left hand side also And here in the right hand side also, just observe. Uh, you need to. It's in the form of a minus b whole square. It's in the form of a minus b whole square, a minus b whole square, and a minus b whole square. You need to apply the a minus b whole square, right? Now, what is a minus b whole square? So, a minus b whole square is nothing but a minus b whole square is equals to a square plus b square minus two ab, right? So, you need to apply this formula, right? So, first. I'll take three minus x whole square, and afterwards I'll simplify here, and afterwards I will write the answer here. Directly I'll write the answer here. So first one is three minus x whole square, right? So therefore, three minus x whole square. Now what is the value of y here? Y is nothing but three. B is nothing but x, right? So let's. So therefore apply here. So therefore, a square. A square is nothing but a value is three. So therefore it's three square, right? So plus B square, so B square is how much? Nothing but B value is nothing but x. So therefore, B square is nothing but x square minus two into y is how much? Y is three into B is how much? X. So therefore, simplify this. Three square is nine. X square is nothing but x square minus three to the six into x is six x. Right. So this is the answer for three minus x whole square. What is the answer? Nine plus x square minus six x. That I'll write uh, here, children. So right. So therefore, square root of. So what is three minus x whole square? Just now we have solved, right? So what is the answer? So the answer is nine plus x square minus six x. Okay. So therefore, nine plus x square minus six x plus is there? Right on plus. Now simplify six minus y whole square. Right. I'll I'll solve here. So so six minus y whole square. Right. So what is the value of y here? Y is nothing but six. What is the value of b? B is nothing but y. Right, children. Now simplify this. That's equals to. So now a square a is nothing but six. So therefore six square. Plus b value is y, so therefore y square minus two into a is nothing but six into b is two ab, so b is y. Now simplify this. Six square is thirty six plus y squares means y square minus six to the twelve into y is twelve y. So now what is the answer? So four six minus y whole square thirty six plus y square minus twelve y. Just write down the answer. Here in the place of six minus y whole square. What is the answer? Thirty six plus y square minus twelve y. So we have simplified the left hand side. Now simplify the right hand side again by using the same formula, right? A minus b whole square. Now the next is minus three minus x whole square. Okay, so minus three minus x whole square. Right, children. Now what is the value of y here? A is minus three. What is the value of b? B is x. Now simplify this. That's equals to a is now. What is the formula? A minus b whole square is equals to a square plus b square minus two ab. So therefore, a a means minus three square plus b means b value is x. So therefore. X square minus two into a is how much? A is nothing but minus three. So therefore, two into minus three. So write down in a bracket. Into what is the value of b? B is nothing but x. So therefore, x. Now simplify this. Any minus square will be 
plus. So therefore, minus 3 square is nothing but plus 9. So x square. So minus into minus is plus. Now, you are not supposed to add. You are able to multiply here because the formula says 2 into a into b. So therefore, when you are multiplying, multiple the numbers also and multiple the symbols also. Right? So 3 to the 6. 6 into x is 6x. X. Now, multiple the symbols. Minus into minus is plus. So, this is the answer for minus 3 minus x whole square. So, what is the answer? 9 plus x square plus 6x. Now, apply this value here. So, minus 3 minus x whole square. In the place of minus 3 minus x whole square. So, answer is 9 plus x square plus 6x. Right, children? Plus. Now, apply 4 minus y whole square. So, here, I will write. So, 4 minus y whole square. Now, what is the value of a? a is nothing but 4. b is nothing but y. So, that is equals to a square. a square is nothing but 4 square plus b square. b is nothing but y. So, therefore, y square minus 2 into, what is the value of a? a is nothing but 4 into, what is the value of b? b is nothing but y. So, therefore, 4 square is 16 plus y square minus 4 to the 4 to the 8 into y is 8y. So, this is the answer for 4 minus y whole square. Now, write down the answer here. So, therefore, 16 plus y square minus 8y. Right, children? Now, in the next step, so, just take the square on both sides to cancel the square root. You are able to find the relation between x and y, right? So, therefore, Take square on both sides. So take square on both sides. Right, children? Now, if I take the square means right here, square root of 9 plus x square minus 6x plus 36 plus y square minus 12y whole square that's equals to square root of 9 plus x square plus 6x plus 16 plus y square minus 8y whole square right okay now here square square root get cancelled square square root get cancelled. Now, whatever the remaining is, just write down. So, therefore, 9 plus x square minus 6x plus 36 plus y square minus 12y. So, that is equals to 9 plus x square plus 6x plus 16 plus y square minus 8y. Okay. Now, just send the right hand side value to the left hand side Whoa. what are the values present in the right hand side just send the all the values to the left hand side so when you are sending the values from right hand side to left hand side the symbol will change so i'll write 9 plus x square minus 6x plus 36 plus y square minus 12y now so plus 9 is there so, it will become minus 9 plus x square is there, it will become minus x square plus 6x is there, it will become minus 6x plus 16 is there, it will become minus 16 plus y square is there, it will become minus y square minus 8y is there, it will become plus y square. That is equals to 0. Right, children? Now, here plus 9 minus 9 get cancelled. Right, children? Plus x square minus x square get cancelled. Right, children? Here, uh, then y square plus y square minus y square is there. It get cancelled. Now, anything is there to cancel. So, here see, uh, minus 6x is there, minus 6 is there. 6x is there. So, therefore, minus into minus is plus. You need to add. You can't cancel it. Plus 36 is there, plus 8y is there. You are supposed to add. Sorry. Th plus 36 is there, minus 16 is there. So, therefore, you need to subtract. So, you can't cancel it. So, minus 12y is there plus 8y is there. Minus into plus is minus. So, therefore, you need to subtract. 
you can't cancel it so whatever remaining is there just write down that one so the remaining are mm, minus 6x minus 6x right so plus 36 and I'll write the number first minus 16 and the next I'll write the this one minus 12y and I'll write this one plus 8y is equals to 0 right children now uh, just uh, minus into minus just uh, uh, add or subtract the same variable so I'll, I'll take the x variable right now minus into minus is plus so therefore you need to add so how much so 6x plus 6x is nothing but 12x and also minus 12x sign of a biggest number biggest number is nothing but the, on the both sides 6 is we are having a 6 number only so therefore write down the symbol minus 12x so therefore plus into minus is minus if you subtract that 6 minus 16 is nothing but plus 20 right so therefore here we have finished this one now take this one y variable minus 12y plus 8y so minus minus into plus is minus you need to subtract so 12 uh, minus 8 is 4y nothing but sign of a biggest number biggest number is 12 sign is minus so therefore minus 4y is equals to 0 now first i will write x variable afterwards i will write y variable afterwards afterwards i will write the constant so i'm interchanging that's it so 12 minus 12x minus 4y plus 20 is equals to 0 right now divided by uh, minus 4 children because here 12 is there, here 4 is there, here 20 is there. So all the numbers will divided by 4. So therefore divided by minus 4, right? So now uh, if you divide it by minus 12 here, I'll write. So minus 12x divided by minus 4 you need to do, right? So therefore 4 ones are, 4 threes are, minus minus get cancelled. The answer is the remaining is 3x, right? So that you need to write here. So divided by minus 4 I'm doing. 4 threes are 12 minus minus get cancelled so therefore the remaining is plus 3x right children now divide the second one so uh, I'm, I'm dividing here minus 4y divided by minus 4 minus minus get cancelled 4 4 get cancelled nothing but 4 onza 4 onza the remaining is plus y right children so here i'll write the answer here so therefore again i'll say minus 4y divided by you need to solve divided by minus 4 4y sorry 4 so therefore minus minus get cancelled 4 ones are 4 ones are the remaining is plus so therefore plus y okay children now divided by 20 divided by minus 4 so 4 ones are 4 fives are so plus divided by minus is minus so therefore the answer is minus 5 so therefore minus 5 is equals to 0 now again I will say 20 divided by minus 4. 4 ones are 4 fives are 20. So plus divided by minus is nothing but minus. So therefore minus 5. And this is the relation between x and y which we need. So this is the required relation of x and y. 3x plus y minus 5 is equals to 0. And thank you.